Good day everyone, this is Al Vinigan from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about my top favorite Miss Universe Thailand of the decade. So which means these are the representatives that wore the sash of Thailand in Miss Universe from 2010 to 2019. There's 10 of them. So I will be ranking them based on my personal preference and favorites. Thailand, just by looking at the past 10 candidates, is actually a great and strong set. I like almost all of them. So that's why it's really challenging to rank them because I know I have some other favorites but I need to put the other one above the other so that was kind of a challenge but it's exciting I really have to follow my heart to select this top 10 so before we begin let me just say that right now every one of us is involved in this dark times that we are facing right now. I mean, there's no countries that are safe right now. Everybody have their own number of cases and it's going to be a very difficult, very lonely if you look negatively. However, staying at home is our way of helping the frontliners and I really hope we stay that way because I know you may feel feel useless by doing that, but you're actually helping so much. So that's just my tip. It's a very, very simple request from everyone, from the government, from the doctors to stay at home. So that's the best thing that we can do to support them. Well, anyway, let's begin the countdown starting with my number 10, 2011. Chanya Sorn Sakorn Chan, adorable and beautiful contender. Her downfall is definitely her performance being forgettable and not giving that much impact. But then again, it's what they've said, beautiful contender. Number 9, 2013, Chalita Yemwanang. Same reason as 2011, although I like Chalita more. However, her performances in the preliminaries were just forgettable as well. And one of my least favorite preliminary gown from a Thai representative. Number 8, 2014, Tim Bongko Chan Kiao. She's got the towers height, decent walk, confident aura, but for some reason, she just doesn't give me that much wow factor. She also received so much hype during her time, but I wasn't really that surprised when she was excluded. I mean, number 7, 2012, Farida Waller. Well, this one is actually another decent contender. Her performances during the preliminaries were solid, strong. She was also styled beautifully. I think she ranked high in preliminaries, but not high enough to get a placement. Number 6, 2010, Fon Thip Wacharatrakul. I really like Fon Thip. I still remember the time when she competed and she is even appearing in many of the list of favorites. I really love her youthful aura, her performance in swimsuit was great, and her evening gown performance and looks were divine. I could easily swap someone out from the first cut finalist and pull her in into that top 15 because she was just good. So I felt sorry that she did not make it, but at least she made her country proud by giving a good performance. May number 5, 2018, Sofida Kanchanarin. She has the honor of representing her country in her own home and she definitely gathered a huge support during the finale. Her performances were great but my favorite moments from her is her Steve Harvey interview and her top 10 speech. She is indeed a smart candidate. My number 4, 2015, Aniporn Chalermburna Wong. I love Aniporn so much, love the vibe personality and energy that I am getting from her. She seems like a very genuine woman as well and seeing her perform well during the preliminaries made me happy. And seeing Thailand get a placement since 2007 was truly a remarkable and momentous moment for the country. So I am also so so happy that she went far as far as top 10. My number 3 2019, Pawin Sudadro win. Pawin Suda has competed in a different major pageant, which made her a front runner when she competed in Miss Universe. She remained very consistent all throughout and has delivered 
solid performances in the competition. She was another crown contender, not until she was asked about privacy or security. I don't blame her though, cause that was a very, very difficult question. But anyhow, she waved her flag beautifully and that's what's important. Me number two, 2017, Maria Ponertlar. A huge front runner when she competed with many people, hoping to see her win the crown, including myself. But still, she gave her best and reached an impressive spot in the top five. She already became a huge favorite because of her angelic and queenly features and her performances, iconic. And to me, the best Miss Universe Thailand of the decade goes to 2016, Chalita Swansene. I, I mean, undoubtedly, my favorite Miss Universe Thailand of the last decade. She's got a great and inspiring backstory, and she's also a diva on stage. She gave a super strong swimsuit performance, and who could ever forget her evening gown performance, that downward stare in the camera, which belongs to the list of one of the best evening gown performances of all times. Her sweet aura and personality definitely won many hearts and is the reason why I chose her as the best Miss Universe Thailand of the decade. So what do you think and what are what is your own ranking? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.